a new deal for our patients. Setting an example to others, the National Hospital London leads the way towards the end of hospital blues. Ridding its waiting rooms of the cold and friendly atmosphere of the old days, the hospital now boasts all the comforts of a club room. Hours of waiting on hard benches are a thing of the past in the hospitals of the future, where they know that the best relief for all ailments is a nice hot cup of tea. Waiting rooms with comfortable chairs, a warm fire, flowers, and someone to talk to about your operation will someday be the service for everyone. Just what the doctor ordered. Okay, well, you've just seen a 1948 version of uh, the therapeutic environment. Um, I hope in the next 10 minutes to show you how we've updated that and uh, what we're trying to do um, to create better environments in healthcare facilities. Uh, but I would also say that there are a few characteristics in that video, such as a nice friendly cup of tea, flowers, a warm environment, comfortable seats that are probably still as valid uh, today as they were in 1948. Yeah, the, the NHS today, of course, is, uh, is a different beast with 1.3 million people working in it. It has uh, a million patient visits every 36 hours and it comes with a price tag of a hundred billion pounds per annum. It is indeed a formidable piece of uh, British societal uh, and financial infrastructure. One of the major challenges that we face uh, in the provision of healthcare is the gap between patient expectation and affordability. This isn't just uh, applicable in, 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 in the UK, but in almost every country uh, that has a health service. Um, what we have to do, therefore, is to leverage as much value uh, as we can um, to enable the uh, health service to be as efficient as it possibly can. One mechanism that we can use to leverage value is uh, by integrating the therapeutic environment. And uh, of course that does have many parts. S for example, sufficient car parking, clear wayfinding, patient privacy and dignity, responsive acoustics, uh, plentiful levels of natural daylighting, interesting and or relaxing views, lower risks of hospital acquired infection, thermal comfort, environmental control, artificial lighting, art and music. Together they combine to make an extremely powerful mechanism of added value. The, the benefits of that list um, apply to the four users of the facility, namely the patient, staff, visitors and the local community. I've mentioned the uh, elements of the therapeutic design and I've mentioned those uh, groups that th the elements apply to. So let's look now at, at, at some of the benefits and they include uh, higher patient satisfaction, higher, uh, lower patient stress and anxiety, uh, reduction in pain, hospital acquired infections reduced, sleeping quality increased, slips, trips and falls reduced, Length, length of stay reduced, medical errors reduced, patient communications improved, patient confidentiality improved, staff satisfaction and morale increases, staff efficiency increases and staff turnover reduces. In essence there are a lot of benefits to be gained from a quality, the design of a quality environment. Well, we saw at the beginning of the presentation the 1948 version of the therapeutic environment. I've explained what I think are the elements uh, that we should look at today. But of course, the therapeutic environment goes back in time. Uh, and for example, in, eight, in 1855, Florence Nightingale recognised that colour and form enhanced uh, a patient's recovery. Brunel in 1855, in his hospital in Renkiae, considered the uh, thermal environment, uh, introducing fresh air. 
and also was the, the first one to recognise that there needed to be a, a separation between beds and a certain air volume. And of course that lesson is transferred today when we look at uh, infection control in uh, healthcare environments. Samuel Devine was a doctor at uh, the Brigham Women's Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts in 1910. He treated most of his patients outside because he felt it was a better environment for them. And in 1976, Evan Burroughs uh, wrote a paper, a business case, on the, the, the introduction of single rooms into the NHS. And it was called a, a scandalous impromptu. Um, so, um, although it's intuitive, um, evidence is very hard to get, but we are learning from history here. Um, I would bring it up to date and, and suggest that work done by Keith Scott Jameson at Imperial College looks at the wavelengths of natural daylight, particularly the UV end and the IR at uh, the infrared end, and about uh, how the UV kills bugs in the space and IR increases uh, the serotonin and therefore enhances a patient's recovery. So now, of course, we come to the difficult bit. We now have to justify the costs associated with improving the environment, in creating the therapeutic environment. And it's only fair that we should try to calculate a return on investment because every pound that's spent on the environment is a pound that we don't spend on medical equipment, which of course is at the heart of the NHS, that's patient care. The metrics are extremely complicated. We could, for example, use length of stay, patient length of stay. We could use successful patient outcomes, but they are pretty difficult. Let's look at one, let's look at um, length of stay. In 1976, the le average length of stay was 11 and a half days. N now, it's three and a half days. So therefore, if we, could, if we took the view and if we could prove that we could uh, save 15% on that figure, 15% of 11 and a half days is quite attractive. 15% of three and a half days isn't so attractive. I think where the real, where the real benefit of the therapeutic environment and those elements of the therapeutic environment uh, comes into play is where we start grouping them together. An example of that is better car parking and improved wayfinding. If we have better car parks and adequate car parking space, it means that the local community uh, don't have to put up with visitors and staff parking on the side streets. They're a lot happy, happier and more sympathetic to the hospital being in place. Equally, better wayfinding from the car park to the department improves the experience of the visitor who's sometimes extremely